Libra, your energy is about being compassionate and working on being successful here. There's a truth that's going to come out regarding a fire sign energy here. A conversation with the fire sign energy. This is, and it's definitely in regards to cutting off past life experiences that lacked integrity. Period. Um, there's also a need for you to patiently wait. Okay. When this moment happens, there's not much that you're going to be able to do about it. Let me see. Tell me about this King of Cups and this energy here. What's going, what's this tower moment? What's this communication coming in? Okay, yeah. It's about a need to control. It's about a need to control. And remember I said it was the Page of Swords that fell out. Let's see if it comes back. This is immature communication. A tower moment. Something taking too long. Definitely with a father energy here. This... <laughs> Hi there and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. This is going to be for you, Libra. Libra, you are an air sign. You are powerful. You are abundant. There is a lot of your energy flying about around this time. People taking action to find out the truth, using their discernment, finding karmic justice and balance in a society that is going insane. So we're going to use the Good Tarot deck right now to bring about a message um, either we'll see how we go. We'll see if this is just going to be something that we start the reading with, or if this is the, going to be the deck we use for the entire reading. I'm feeling we're going to end up splitting it up a little bit. Okay. Something different. Yes. Yeah, see, there's a lot of information. That's a lot. Way too many. If you guys have not already heard my thank yous for subscribing to the channel, I thank you. And for all of those individuals who have not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell indicator to assist you in receiving the messages that you need to hear because you are here for a reason. Messenger of Earth, see? I told you you're here for a reason. There's a lot of grounded energy. There's a lot of energy of patience right now. This is going to be your Knight of Earth energy. Um, I feel as if Libra... The action that you know that needs to be taken, it's very youthful, okay, but it's golden. I'm looking at the fact that there are gold flakes on the edges of her crown. But also the cyclical aspect of understanding cycles. And here we have the messenger of fire again, and then your air energy, okay, okay. This is about grounding something, taking the action to ground yourself right now. Maybe that's where your headspace is. That's what you've been trying to do. This is the message. Yes, Libra, you are going to be the communicator about how the long-term planning and action is going to be people who stay within their emotional powers. Mm -hmm. I have. A, I feel like there's a vibe. Yes, and you are this king of fire, okay? So... The readings that I have done for June, actually, here's Ace of Earth, New Beginning. You are a soul creator. You are going to be helping to write contracts with people, Libra. Um, what I've been picking up is like more of a grand scale. Yeah, see, look, Two of Water, Two of Cups, contracts. This is about bonds and unions. King of Earth, right here. Nine of Water, people getting their way. There was a reading that I did, um, I want to say it was for Gemini, where all three kings came out except the king of fire. That's because the king of fire is in within your realm, okay? While there is justice coming out through Gemini because the north node is there, you will play a very large part air sign and Libra in finding grounded, passionate energy and emotion and how to use it and, and go forward. I feel like there's going to be new teachings here. I feel like there's going to be um, this Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. It's a new soul contract offer. So you could have somebody new coming in 
someone that you really care for. You could have an offer coming in. You could be making an offer of some sort because you care and want to be someone's husband or you um, are being proposed to you. This could even be business where there's proposals coming in for business. Look, four of earth. So this is about taking action towards stability. Look, four of fire. This is a moment in time. This is marriage. This is being in love. This is being with a couple. Someone is taking a while for them to come together. There could be a water sign. There's a fire sign here. Maybe these are just heavy elements in your chart. <sighs> Let's figure this out. Yeah. Okay. So your other person being grounded. There's definitely some temperance energy here. It's a patient understanding move towards a new beginning. Yeah. See, look, six of air, your energy again. Um, air energy moving passionately. There's a sense of racing forward here. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering about, I think that there's some the decision or there's some sort of um, thought process behind if we move forward, how does that play into what we're holding on to here? That's what it feels like. Okay, Libra, your other person, pretty grounded. I think that they offer you opportunities as well. New opportunities and blessings. Very peaceful aspect. Look, yeah, all the way to the aid of earth. And this is about working on the details. Mm -hmm. Working on the details. Look, again, king of air. Seeing the truth. Oh, about a deception regarding generational issues. This is about healing. Again, you guys, I'm telling you. Everybody's coming out with the same message because this is the time where we begin to move forward here. It looks like the, the cards ended up coming and being the entire reading. That's the vibe that I took from it. That's what wanted to come out. This new beginning with your other person. Somebody feels like if they just keep working, it's a new opportunity, a new announcement. I, I just hear announcement when I think of this fool card, this new beginning with some form of love here. Taking passionate action to work towards that. Someone slowly understanding why another person is holding on. There's an unemotional aspect that's not telling the truth. This is... You know what's funny, Libra, is this combination popped up in Sagittarius and it also popped up, I believe, in Pisces. And there's someone here who's not telling the truth, but these truths are going to be healed and clarity is going to come. There's an abundance. There's a Virgo energy here as well. Yeah, there's definitely, yeah, this is about a bond. This is about a relationship see what other information we have for Libra. Libra, I just, I hear thank you. Someone is happy that you are in their, um, I'm hearing grandchild's life. You, there's someone that you have helped, Libra. A grandchild, they said, to understand the impact of what they might be doing. Yeah. Six of water. Yeah. Oh, soul contracts. Of course, six of water has been coming out in everything. Soulmate contracts coming back from the past. Do you see how these abalone shells have been opened and the pearls are free? You have two on this side and two on this side. It's almost as if the shell has been broken open. It's an understanding of the things that have developed and grown. There might be um, some sort of split decision here. There's, there's something that's being mirrored through these pearls with this six of water. There's, and I feel like it's, it's social justice, honestly. I just feel like it's some sort of situation where there's viewpoints being taken and there's more, there's the, the majority is taking the higher road. Mm -hmm. And it's because of the passionate, um, Divine energy 
that the universe shows you or the king of fire, the new opportunity that can be taken regarding how past actions or past emotions have made people feel. There's got to be a grounding and a patience and an understanding of love here. This, this same message keeps coming out for everybody because I think we are all kind of going through the same thing. So definitely pay attention to your other signs. Um, if you have strong in your chart something other than just air, you might want to look into that, okay? Because I have earth, I have water, and I have fire all in your headspace. Not only are you an air element, but and your air element is going to be key, I'm hearing, in communicating the different perspectives of how society is going to be viewing stuff here. Very large message for you guys. Air, I don't know why you hold such a, ho a responsibility to help everybody move forward. I haven't quite figured that out yet. You know, but it's it's like a I keep thinking of a master plan. It's the divine right for you to step into your power here. OK, this is about uh, karmic repayments, karmic retribution, retribution. Maybe there's someone who owes you. See, that's a lot. I'm not taking all of that because it is. But there is Empress energy here. Yeah, with an apology because of lies, right? Seven of Earth. This came out originally when I first started shuffling and meditating for you guys. This is about patience. It's going to take time. I don't think everything has come back from the past that needs to come back from the past. You are still in the process of working on things slowly here. And the opportunity for you guys to open up to love in a feminine way and be able to speak your truth against temptation, desire, things that aren't true. That's actually going to bring in peace here. OK, I feel like this karmic path that you're waiting on definitely has something to do with this counterpart here about this new opportunity um, of emotion. Yeah, that new opportunity of emotion. There's someone who's out to win at all costs. This is the, the, the karmic cycle here. This is what is oppressing you. Waiting on waiting on this king of water here. I'm going to do one more for the bottom of the deck. And then I'm actually going to take a look at something else here, Libra. Because I need to do something special for you guys. Because I know not everybody can um, go over to the Vimeo link. So I'm going to get some a little bit of that clarity. Okay. Queen of air. Queen of fire. Queen of water. This is the feminine energy. You are that missing link within the Gemini reading. That the feminine energy is going to come out. You have three queens here. This you, there is just something about the air movement that is going to bring about the passionate change, the feminine energy that's needed to balance out the Gemini energy. Um... So if you're an astrologer and you're watching this, please comment below to help the other individuals know which aspect it is that I'm talking about. Because I, it's the research has not come for me yet as far as how to make this happen or what current alignments are going on. Okay. Yeah. And I want you guys as a tribe to help each other out. So that you can move forward and away from this five of air. This is about taking action. This is all about moving forward. You know that George Floyd was an air sign, right? A very peaceful person. A very peaceful person. You know, a messenger of love. Yeah, give me one more here. Temperance. This is about patience. This is that fire sign. Mm-hmm. Four of water, four of cups. Someone is dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. Some sort of ending going back and forth. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's do what I want to do here. World. Yeah, remember I told you about travel, about cycle, about the universe. These readings are all universal. It's about pulling your energy together to help each other out. So you may know some pretty powerful Geminis. I think you're a powerful air sign um, coming together through prayer, 
This is a new beginning and you have a key towards the new beginning. I feel like Libra, you guys may be the ones that are announcing the change that's going to come, but the emotion behind it um, is a little delayed. You're, you're, I'm not going to say over emotional, but you definitely have a lot of heart when it comes to whatever it is that's going on here. Okay. And then just very quickly, I'm going to do something special for you. I normally don't do it. Um, tell me about this. I want to know about these queens. Oh, I took one of the queens away when I shuffled, didn't I? That's okay, though. You're, they're all, everybody's going to be working together, so I don't want to know about the queens. Tell me about this karmic energy here and the new opportunity to do something different. Tell me about this karmic energy. What is this from the past? The majority has a rule here. What is it? Something that wasn't successful in the past. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's something, it's a karmic energy that could be creating a missed opportunity, but let's see. Honor and fame. This is about disturbing, disturbing behavior from the past. Okay? When it showed that there was no love. And the majority now sees this. They're holding, there's someone that's holding on to something that is less than love, less than honorable. But now the universe is getting ready to work together because of the strength, this new opportunity that's going to be taken here. This past life was something very harsh. This new opportunity is a gift because of the unfairness that has happened in this life. Mm -hmm. Emotion being balanced, seeing the truth about a person, waiting to see the truth. Something coming back from the past that was, there was no integrity here. It wasn't successful because it wasn't someone who was able to be honored. Gift. On top of gift, we have travel. New opportunity to move forward. Enlightenment. Enlightenment is what I'm hearing. But someone's scared about this new ability to see things. This is a seer. Uh, the queen of water is a seer. This feminine energy, someone who's actually grounded. I feel like there's a message coming in from this as well. Someone wants to hold on to an energy here. There is definitely a lot of movement forward here. Okay, yes. And then there's work. Again, eight of earth and work. Mm hmm Seeing the truth. There's somebody Okay, so there is somebody here who's going to come in and provide success, but there's going to be a truth about this success, okay? I feel like somebody might be let down. Libra, it could be you. You are expecting something extremely passionate. But because there was confusion in the past, this is something that's over with, this calamity. It was confusion regarding who to be faithful to. There could be an issue here. I feel like this is like an emotional... Yeah. It's almost like somebody's going to want you to work for their, their love. And that's the only way that you're going to see the past. They want you to work for their love. But the thing was, is that it wasn't worth it. It wasn't someone who was of the integrity to do so. You know, they always they when they came to you, they always bought in negativity and malice and attack. Mm -hmm. Gossip. And that's it wasn't a fair cycle for you. And it needs to be worked on. There's definitely a feminine energy here. Um, that's going to combat, I feel like it's going to evolve into this beautiful air and water energy, this emotional conversation of some sort where you're working with a fire sign. Yeah. So definitely don't be surprised if it turns into a fight. Um, but do know that
your individual holding on, hoping to work on something, there, there's, a, there's a new development here of emotion. I feel that this is a cycle. This is also a cycle here of telling you that a karmic life is coming back around. And it's a gift because you need to learn to move forward and have heart and take the action towards something better. Okay? Yeah, you got information coming in. Somebody's coming in to help you here to see the truth. Definitely see the truth about this king of water. Um, somebody who's making a final decision here. What is it that they're truly offering you? It is some sort of proposal, but you're going to have to put in work, Libra. That's what I feel. All right, so gecempresscollection.etsy.com. Go ahead and meet me over on Vimeo. Extended link is below. Peace and love, Grace.